Hey there. If you're on this page, then there's a high likelihood that you're someone who's either short on time or finding that you don't have the time to spend an hour and a half every day going to the gym to keep up with your fitness. And as a result of this pressure, you've either stopped going or you're hardly going at all. The pain of not being able to go to work out, to finding time for yourself, to enable you to decompress from the stresses of your job, or of just being the go-to person, whether it's at home or at work, from your partner, a colleague, or perhaps even a parent. Well, that stress, that not being able to find time for you, it's beginning to cascade into the other aspects of you. Perhaps you're feeling like you're always tired. Your sleep, well, it doesn't feel like you're getting any sleep and you're not getting enough rest or recovery. And to top it off, you may have stopped skipping meals. You may have even tried the whole fasting thing. And worse still, whilst you may not accept it, perhaps you've even dropped into the binging mode. You see, all of these little things are building up and the signs are starting to show. The clothes, they're getting a little bit tighter. You may not be as toned as you once were or where you want to be. Perhaps you've even lost strength or you're struggling to move your path to when you do the stairs or you take that little short dash to get the bus or the train on the way to and from work. And worse still, you're perhaps a little bit moody and maybe someone's even you called out for being a little bit bitchy lately. So how do I know? You see, at some point in my life, those attributes are all part of me. So much so that I ignored a few key facts about me, my life, my situation, and I ended up ballooning to 115 kilos. And at five foot seven and a bit, that's way too much for my frame. I ended up suffering skin conditions and worse still, in my 40s, I ended up suffering two minor strokes, what we call a transient isochemic attack. That's what ended up being my catalyst and helped me, excuse the French, but it helped me wake the fuck up. Fast forward for a few years and working my own way out with the help of some others, and now I'm here and I want high performance, and I want a high performance lifestyle, and I want to help others achieve the same. Hi, my name's Don McStraw and I'm here to share with you the things that I did and the system that I created to actually help me, to help me fight through my own personal roadblocks, fight through the motivational, the highs and lows, the little bouts of depression and feeling like all the stuff that you see on the social, well, it's just nonsense and bullshit and it's never going to work for me. You see, the system helped me break out of my slump to get back time. So you see a light, to use the phrase, at the end of the tunnel, and it ended up helping me develop my own formula for what we call the daily 2%. But first, now that you're here, I'm not gonna give you the solution. It doesn't work that way with the method that we use. What we'd like to do is have you take part in watching a small series of videos first. And if at the end, then you're still in a position where you think that this is for you, and it's not easy done, then we will shed a little bit more light on how you can get involved. And I'm gonna be candid, as I said, this is not for everyone. So if you're a tire kicker, if you're a whiner or a whinger, if you're that someone who just keeps making excuses over and over and over and how each time that you have failed, it's been either something else or someone else's fault, then this is not for you and it's time to walk away now. In this Busy Women Sprint, we're gonna cover the key strategies that we use with our clients and that I also use myself in a day-to-day. -day. Key things like accepting the facts. With the facts, we get the truth, and once we have the truth, we have a great starting point. We get to understand what the possibilities are when we adopt the strategies and how we can achieve. We have to understand that the pain of the past has an influence on our future. We can't ignore it, it's there, it's fact, we're gonna deal with it. We also need to get clear that the obstacles, they're there. They're in there for our life and they're there for a reason. And then with all of that, we'll actually paint a path that you can follow to achieve your goals and create sustainable change that helps you live a higher performance life. So as I said, my name's Don McStraw. This is the McStraw Method and the program that we'll talk you through 
is called the daily 2%. So step one, if you think this is for you, it's easy. Click below, submit your first name and your email. The only details that we need and then we'll get you started on this busy woman sprint with video number one that we call the facts.